What is up guys, it's Amelia Gaming D and welcome back to another video. Guys, we are here back on WWE 2K15 and we're doing another showcase. Uh, this is episode one, part one of the Path of the Warrior. Now, so far we have done the Best Friends Bitter Enemies and the Hustle Loyalty Disrespect showcases on this game. Uh, if you'd like, there are playlists of them on uh, this channel here, so you can go check them out for yourselves. They were all amazing. Uh, the last one we did was this one with Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Uh, but yeah, we have uh, these three showcases to do here on this game, and uh, we're going to start off with the Ultimate Warriors. So Path of the Warrior, here we go. Weighing in at 275 pounds. Warrior would bring an energy and excitement to WWE that had never been seen before. All the little warriors can depend on one thing. The Ultimate Warrior will bring it to you! With the support of the WWE Universe, the Ultimate Warrior would make a splash with his unique style, strength, and speed. The Ultimate Warrior's momentum was reaching a fever pitch. And the time had come for the intense competitor from Parts Unknown to set his sights on the reigning Intercontinental Champion. Never been beaten, can't be beaten, won't be beaten by anybody. Line them up. <laughs> and I'll knock them down. For 454 days, the Honky Tonk Man reigned as the Intercontinental Champion. And in his arrogance, he would make an ill-fated challenge going into 1988's SummerSlam. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest, scheduled for one fall, is for the Intercontinental Championship. Approaching the ring, led by his manager, Colonel Jimmy Hart, from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing 248 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, the Hunky Tonk Man. Big smile on the face of the Honky Tonk Man, despite not even knowing who his opponent will be. Let me ask you, Michael Cole, is there anyone in WWE as cocky? Oh, man, look at this. Cocky and arrogant as the Honky Tonk Man. I guess he has a reason to be. Here he goes again. And his opponent. Looks like he's got something to say. Give me somebody out here. I don't care who it is. Is you in a challenge? Says he doesn't care who comes out. I'll be careful what you wish for, Hunky Tonk Man. Oh, look at this. Warrior, the ultimate warrior, unloading a Hunky Tonk. <gasps> look at Hunky Tonk Man. Oh, a big scoop slam from the warrior. This place has come up glued. Warrior with a big shoulder block on Honky Tonk Man. Warrior is on fire and Jimmy Hart is beside himself. Look at that clothesline, though. Warrior won't stop. Ultimate Warrior with a big splash and he hits it. This could be it. Hook of the leg and it's over. It's a Well, that's what you do if you want to win bad enough. You go out there and you take it. What an unbelievable moment. I'm still stunned as is this New York City crowd. Now, in my opinion, that was not really much of a match. This has literally been like almost six minutes for this video. It's probably going to be shorter after I edit it down. Um, but man, if I was the Honky Tonk Man, I would be pissed. Like, 
IRL, I would have been furious with losing a match like that after holding the championship for like a year and a half. Like, that's that's crazy. And just losing to someone like the Ultimate Warrior. Don't get me wrong, Ultimate Warrior was amazing and he was a hell of a character back then. But, man, that wasn't even really a match uh, at all. But, yeah, that was episode one. I know it's really short. Uh, but uh, each episode is going to be a new match. I believe there's going to be eight matches for this uh, showcase. So there'll be eight episodes for it. And uh, yeah, so the next one here is going to be the Ultimate Warrior versus Andre the Giant for the Intercontinental Championship. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.